Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Now, when we left off, our original, uh, our original one did not get very far, but uh, I wanted to do it another go round. This time with the Megacorp uh, DLC added because that recently released for consoles. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we're not going to implement it into our empire, but it will be a new variable added in to our shenanigans and whatever it added to the game as well. I don't know what it would add, but we'll find out. Anyway, we're going to continue on with our same shtick we always do. Um, turn that up to Captain... Uh, yeah, and then turn Iron Man mode on. And, uh, yeah. I think that is good enough. I think. Don't quote me. <laughs> I'm probably wrong, but I think, I think that's good enough. Alrighty. Uh, we shall move on. And start the story of our new empire. That isn't really new. Per se, but it's uh, attempt number two. <laughs> Alrighty. And there we go. We already know all of this. But fucking might as well read it again. In the eons since the first primitive Felon communities took shape in the meadows and forests of Felon Day, our civilization has spread and prospered. Countless nation states formed as we advanced through the technological ages warring against each other until only one remained. Although the fighting was often brutal, those who survived nurtured a martial tradition that has prevailed to this day. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the Empire of Felinae have finished development of the first hyperspace drives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Begin! All right. And where are, are we in the galactic stage? Ah, not too bad. Not too bad a location. Makes it a little harder to uh, find a wall to uh, pin against, but uh, it's okay. It's all right. All right, we get 12, 12, another 5 for engineering. That'll help us at least in the engineering department. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. Now let's look at research. Okay. <laughs> I like the look of this. We got a uh, Renata Velasco, uh, who is female, uh, age 40, but has a spark of genius. We have an Arnav Kuti, who is 33, male, and also has a spark of genius. And Lee Howard, which has a uh, expertise in Voidcraft and is age 30. All right, and let's look at the research we can start with. Uh, might as well start with nanomechanics. Um, hmm. Genome mapping, because that will be useful later. I don't know why it said missing icon there for a second. That was weird. I'm going to chalk that up to a goofy shenanigans with the DLC. And... Administrative AI. It's a good idea to boost up the research speed real quick and early on. All right. In the meantime, let us look at our world. A 19 slot, uh, rather 19 district world, not bad. Fair enough. Of course, no rare planetary features to speak of. No planetary modifiers. And yeah, all looks fairly standard to me. So we'll just wait until uh, it's necessary to expand. Now. Um, construction ship. Let's have 
Oh, I can't do anything on that yet. Fuck. All right, well, I'm gonna have to turn that off and don't need that open not yet. The Strike Force Hippogriff. All right. That ain't too bad. Let's rename that fleet real quick. Just because I can. There we go, much better. Let's ignore the part where I forgot a P in Imperial. Anyway. <laughs> we will put the fleet stance to aggressive in case we need it. And let's up the design to... Let's up it to 15 for now. Let's do it to 15. Just in case we need it later. All right, and begin. All right. Crown Princess Antonia. Antonia, huh? Fair enough. What were, I forgot to check, what were our current ruler traits? I'm a champion of the people, and we have a home in the sky. Starbase modules, uh, and upgrades cost are reduced and the happiness is increased. Gotta love that. Uh, Antonia is a fertility preacher and a champion of the people as well. All right. Not too shabby. Secure the borders. Defense platform build cost, defense platform damage, and hull points. Okay. Looks good to me. Just had to get a quick look-see. Away we go! Alright. I say uh, when we have a chance, we'll build another research station. But that will be research lab rather but that will be when the time comes and i have enough minerals which i do not currently oh. just realized i forgot to set my science ship on a plotted course to explore jamal al hazim wait <laughs> i thought i misread that jamal al hazmi okay Enough. I forgot to set him on a course, so I'm gonna do that now. Fix my own stupid mistake, because I'm a fucking idiot. There we go. And from here I might actually need to reopen that up, because I will need a new science ship soon. There we go. Waha. Let's look, scientists. You all know what I was looking at <laughs> when I paused time. Gaylord Jones. Ah, uh, boy, what a name. Okay, um, carefree or archaeologist? I might go for uh, Inez Renard instead of Helena Pel Construction Pelissier. Complete. I don't know what's that name. What the fuck just fell? Probably my other headset for my computer. <laughs> oh well. Uh... Oh. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Gallia 6. There we go, having to translate Roman numerals in my head again. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of stars roughly 6 million years ago, based on the age of the artifacts. The aliens called themselves 
the Yut, and appear to have been very large and flat anthropod analogs. It seems a single individual could reach a length of nearly 100 meters as an adult, and it was apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three Yut to travel aboard the same starship. New sit rep. All right, get Inez Renard. Get them on the other science ship that we have currently. Oh, I just realized that I already had an archaeologist. Okay, so it was really good that I went with the carefree then. Huh. All right. Um, we'll have you explore here and here and here. Then go all the way around. We'll have you explore the regions of our home system. This way. And that. Oh, well, let me plot much further. Okay. Ooh. Weeks after the ISS Remembrance's latest fruitful exploratory survey, Felinian xenologists are practically falling over themselves to publish their takes on the findings of Goliath 6. That's a hell of a name for that planet. This fevered storm in the scientific community has had some negative, yet temporary, impacts on pursuits in other fields. Fair enough. Let them be excited. Why not, huh? Okay. Uh, all right, time to build that other thing. Oh, I can't do that yet because I'm not quite there yet. There we go. Beautiful. That's good to me. And we just wait for more. All right. Now we just wait for something interesting, which it will come eventually. We all know it to be true. Hmm. So they have some energy units on those star systems. Good. All right. Before I forget further, because I already forgot. Um, I wanted to make sure... No, that is prohibited. Bad. Um, allowed. Population controls allowed. Yeah. There we go. That be not allowed, that allowed. That's how we go. Um, dietary balance, nutritional plentitude. Fuck it, why not? We're already making a fuck ton of food. Why not? Um, first contact, peaceful. Yeah, that should work. That should work just fine. Also, map the stars should make that a lot quicker. Alright. We continue on. With less of my stupidity. <laughs> I really should have gotten those done a while ago, but hey. Better late than never. <sighs> now we continue to wait for something interesting. Okay, so... The energy units were based off the star, same as Voldora. Meanwhile... System reconnaissance completed. Oh, Voldora has been fully surveyed. Well, that was small. Almost insignificant. Alright. Time to do more mining. Ooh. We've unlocked a tradition, and of course we're going to go into Discovery. Anomaly research speed increased by 20%. Alright. This has a planet. Is it a... Oh, it's a continental world, but it's so tiny! So tiny! It's 14. It's so tiny! Better have something good. Otherwise, it's not construction even worth it. Complete. Yeah, yeah, it's con complete. It's construction queue. I get it. All right. System reconnaissance completed. 
All right. The Haraban Nebula. Nebula. I was about to say something else. Hmm. All right. This was also small. It had very little going for it. The fuck? The fuck is with these? You know, insignificant fucking... <laughs> galaxies. Or rather, not galaxies. Uh, star systems. The fuck? So little to them. A commendable initiative. Yes. But let's read what it is first. Huh? We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Felindae. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter has, are already underway, but our, Zenas, <laughs> my, our xenobiologist, having urged us to have urged us to focus on our planetary efforts on habitable, life-bearing worlds. I butchered that last sentence up horribly, but a commendable initiative. New sit rep. Yeah, I know. New sit rep. I can't even monitor correctly because we don't know Anomaly enough. Anomaly found. The material composition of this asteroid differs significantly from its neighbors. It likely had a different origin than the other bodies of this asteroid belt and should be investigated more closely. Let's do it. What does this planet have? Well, at least it had... It has its size and it's a continental world. Construction complete. Oh, okay, cool. Mm. Not a lot of generator or mining districts. Pretty good agriculturally, though. Okay, well, I'll send that back to the shipyard for now. Okay, so let us build. Ooh. Fair enough. Asteroid fossils. Fossils from what appear to be several species of aquatic animals have been found in the barren and airless surface of Jesus, that's a fucking name. 8F 8FV094. There are indications that the surrounding asteroid belt was created from the remains of a shattered planet, and these findings seem to confirm that theory. Judging by the fossils, the planet supported life and was at least partially covered by water. Fascinating. Let's build the uh, monument. It's a good idea. Ups our unity speed as well, so why not? Um, hmm. oh. Segelia, with the uh, habitable planet, is looking rather promising on its, uh, da -ba -da -ba -da, what can be uh, taken as resources from it. System reconnaissance completed. Although not that promising. But that's fine. Alrighty. And Gaylord Jones has leveled up. Fair enough. Tawagawa? That's fucking Construction name. complete. Okay. That was the planet construction completing. And so far so good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I always forget about that. Anomaly found. Oh. Our science officer has found an anomaly. It will 
will require extensive probing, but should garner a substantial find. That was the word my brain was going to say. Yeah, absolutely. Not something stupid. Okay. Let's go with that. And then build one of these. Uh, Inez Renard has uh, leveled up. That's good. And uh, Tradition's available. Let us go into survey speed. Beautiful. And then we'll go into that afterwards. Okay. Onward we go. System reconnaissance completed. Ooh. Get five out of that uh, star system. Nice. All right, um, we're going to build a starbase here. Hmm. The ISS Remembrance's crew is reporting that they found something spectacular on Tawagawa V5A. On the surface lies traces of an explorative expedition of another civilization. Left behind are some well-preserved documents and artifacts. The proposed action by Chief Science Officer Jamal Al-Hazmi My tongue cannot do that name right. Is to send the text findings to our home world, home world for translation. There is also the possibility to sell them off to a private investor. No, we're going to right. research them. I don't see why not. Wow! Ten fucking years! Holy shit! <laughs> so much for genome mapping. God damn, alright. Musidia. And the planet is... Oh, it's a savannah world. It's not... How does it only have 15? The fuck? It's significantly bigger than the other planet. <laughs> All right, well, Anomaly I'm... found. Ooh. The surface of this asteroid is littered with metallic debris. Most of it appears to originate from starships of many different designs. Interesting. A sort of Bermuda Triangle of sorts, maybe? We'll have to investigate. All right. Construction complete. There we go. From there. Oops. All I had to do was make you build a mining station there. There's our scientists doing research for us. And then have Construction you head back home after that. Sounds good to me. Construction queue is finished. Alright. Hmm. This asteroid was evidently used as a junkyard. Okay. By someone at some point in the distant past. All manner of discarded machinery and metallic refuse has been deposited inside the asteroid's weak gravity well, being slowly pulled into the jumble of debris that now covers the surface. There is nothing of particular value to be found here, but a lot of the metal could be salvaged by a mining station. We should recycle what we can, especially when it's just sitting there, doing fuck all. Especially when it's just sitting there doing fuck all. Construction complete. All right. Mm. Anomaly found. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization in the vicinity of this gas giant. Fair enough. We'll do that. Why not? Hmm.
So I'm thinking next outpost I do should be uh, Galea. System reconnaissance completed. Galea, rather. And uh, move on from there. Tower Gawa definitely had a lot of stuff going for it. Jesus. Alright, let's get that started now. Uh, I'm already working on that. That's already known. And next one is research art. All turn lives increased by one and scientist level cap increased by two. Sounds good to me. And I don't have any of those significantly yet, so I don't need to worry about that quite yet. But I will in a second. Because I'll make him start on that next. I'd rather make them. Because it's a construction ship. I don't even think it's really manned. Alrighty. We can Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Oh. Remembrance has encountered a hostile alien vessel in Kochab. Okay. They've been flagged as alpha aliens until we can learn more about them. Fair enough. The Empire of LNA has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Felon Day following the report of our contact fleet can best be described as rapturous. Okay. Organizational circuitry rerouting academic fervor. Okay. So, um, what should I go to next? Quantum theory. That would be a good idea, I think. There we go. Man, that's going to take forever. Jesus. All right. Alien vessels. Oh. Oh, that's the amoebas. That is the amoebas. All righty. Fair enough. And with that, we bump this up as far as it'll let me. And have the uh, Remembrance go here to survey instead. And once the fleet is all bulked up, we'll go after those space amoebas. But also, should be researching them as well, even though it will take a while. <laughs> Ah, there you go, see? I knew it wasn't going to completely block me off from this way, this direction. Why would it? It'd be douchey. The game isn't completely douchey. Just only sometimes. <laughs> Usually at me. And it strikes me I never adjusted my ship designs either. Eh, it's fine. Science Division the reports shredder, a new huh? breakthrough. Hmm. We have completed nanomechanics. Nanomachines. Advanced instrumentation allows for the study and practical application of physical systems at nanometric scales. Alrighty. Um... New weapons would always be good. New armor is always good. Basic strike craft. That wouldn't be terrible. But. It does cost us a lot more research than anything else here. So let's go with coil guns. Because that will be a lot more useful. Coil guns are far more powerful versions of the early mass drivers, using electromagnetic coils to rapidly accelerate projectiles towards targets. Hmm. Hmm. Give me a second. My throat's starting to uh, give out on me this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Eh, must have been that double I pulled. Eh, both doubles. All right. Anyway. Let's go with that, because I don't need the uh, geothermal fracking right now. Uh, the materials I'm grabbing are perfectly fine as is. Don't need to worry too much about it. All right, and... Anomaly found. Slowly going up. Ooh. The asteroid RX-20935 is emitting some form of radiation in controlled bursts. Is someone, something, trying to communicate with us? It's worth a shot to find out. Let's go recruit an admiral, which I do not have enough credits for yet. Ooh. The youngest is also the unyielding one. Lawrence Lloyd. Welcome to the team. Alright. And in the meantime, I'm going to alter the Corvette. There we go. There's not much way to alter it other than uh, adding a laser to it, which will work far better. And then add a uh, reactor booster. And then auto upgrade for whenever I get new upgrade stuffs. And we'll save it for now. Cool. And we won't get rid of that until all the rest of them are built, the ones that I currently have in production. And then I will switch them over when uh, it's all done, all said and done. So how long do I have? Another two Corvettes. Okay. Ooh. The ISS Remembrances survey of the asteroid is temporarily halted. I couldn't really say that word for a second. Temporarily halted as a probe is caught by an errant gravitational anomaly. The probe manages to transmit some data before it is brutally crushed by the extreme forces. Forces that completely dissipate soon after. At least no one got hurt. You're right. Jesus. I have to imagine if that was a person. Ugh, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to imagine that. Ugh. No, that's, that's, that's fucked. Alright, let's build one more to bring it up to nine. Now to bring it up to ten. Make it a nice round number. Some crazy person like that. And... What the... What the... What? Oh, yeah, I didn't have a building that yet. I forgot. Ooh. So, strategic resource has been discovered. The ISS Remembrance has discovered a previously unknown strategic resource on AR-20909, dubbed Volatile Motes. This is the thing that I accidentally skipped on in the, uh, in the first attempt, because uh, I was kind of getting my ass handed to me uh, very, very badly. Um, so, moving on. These preternatural particles contain a tremendous amount of energy which could be exploited in energy production as fuel or even as explosives. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Which is a good idea. Ooh, it has two! Well then, I like that idea. I like that I'm already heading in this direction. Makes me feel vindicated. Construction so. complete. Alrighty. And then I shall make him... Them. Rather. Do that. And... Yeah, that'll be good.
All right. Had to have a drink of coffee. Not coffee. Uh, tea. I wish it was coffee. I'll probably make a coffee after this. But, uh... So far, so good. We are making steady progress. Albeit, uh... Progress that will soon bankrupt us if that fucking... <laughs> if that doesn't get built Anomaly in that start. Alright. The asteroid 333 P12 is emitting some form of radiation. So we ran into another one of those. Okay. Interesting. Oh, hey. Wait a minute. I just realized... <laughs> This is Kerbal. This is not Kerbal space program. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I feel like it is, but uh, hard to say. Anywho. <clears throat> A scan of the particularly massive asteroid 333 P12 yields fascinating results. The rock's core is shot through with a network of conductive crystals carrying a weak electric charge. The crew on the ISS Remembrance recognize this matrix as a primitive neural lattice and believe the celestial body to be thinking in some capacity, if not fully sapient. They seek permission to excavate the core and transport it to the nearest orbital station for closer study. Um, that's, you're, you're basically asking me to remove the brain of whatever is in this rock. No, no, make do with what you can from the surface. Basically telling us to fuck it. Give it, give us a chance to pull out its brain. Yes, that's a great idea. Just fucking kill the thing. Alright. Oh, I haven't been reading some of these. My bad. <laughs> to boldly go, a new age of exploration is upon us. As we once mapped the surface of our homeworld, we must now brave new terrain, space. There is a galaxy full of wonder waiting to be discovered. The number of science and medical officers has been increased throughout the fleet, organized into a special science division. To support the Corps of Officers, new training programs have greatly accelerated the rate at which we commission new science officers. And the next one, Polytechnic Education. In this age of increasingly advanced technology, a basic education in polytechnics and, applies, and applied science will uh, benefit all of our citizens. This will inevitably lead to more qualified leaders. Hell yeah. Moving on. Do the next thing. Okay. Eventually, we'll get the population up. Actually, you know what? Oh, I don't have enough yet. Shit. Alright. Uh, build another one of these. System reconnaissance completed. Then another one of these for good measure. Like, why not? Hmm. Kerbal system has been fully surveyed. Fair enough. Good for us. Okay, well. Did I really not? Oh, yeah, I never really set him up for anything more, because... I only wanted him to go there real quickly. Okay. And we'll go around this. And this will be uh, one we cut off later. So that way we can explore that at our leisure. Cool. Alright. Onward we go. Okay. And how long do I have left on that? Construction uh, Another complete. four years. Okay. Cool. Don't need to worry about it for a while. 
And then we get him. Oh. Oh, whoa. I don't know why I had that close. Um, have him definitely building mining stations here when we finally get the chance. It should be soon. This month, in fact. Next month. There we go. There we are. Beautiful. Okay. Then have him build... Star base there. And then... Back to the... Shipyard. We Anomaly need. found. There is movement in the upper atmosphere of Asmora B2, as though a ship was gliding hurriedly through the clouds. Huh. Interesting. That is. It's just a gas giant, right? Yeah, it is just a gas giant. That's what it at least looked like in the picture. Interesting. Oh! Our fleet has now been upgraded. Oh! Oh! We found a lost amoeba. Oh, Jesus. That last one. We're not going to do that. No. The ISS Remembrance has located the source of the movement in the upper atmosphere of Asmor B2. Surprisingly, there was no ship hidden in the clouds, but rather a young space amoeba, its mother nowhere to be seen. There is no way of knowing how this juvenile was separated from its mother or others of its kind, but one thing is certain. It appears to have imprinted on the ISS Remembrance. As the crew completed their survey of Asmor B2, they found that the amoeba was following them. It has proven difficult to shake, and Jamal al-Hazmi has taken quite a shine to the youngster's determination. Our science officer suggests allowing the juvenile to follow the vessel, certain we may learn more about space amoebas in the process. Out of the question, just keep avoiding it. That would be unfortunate, because we would lose a chance at studying them on their own. Um, oh, Jesus. Yeah, the dissection. Yeah, that's not That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Yeah. Let's let it follow along. Why not? Uh, Empire Felony becomes the new owner of Lost Juvenile. It followed me home. Befriend a space amoeba. Hell yeah. Oh. Because <laughs> I earned an achievement. All right. Fair enough. Cool. <laughs> and... It's just following the remembrance. Okay, fair enough. We'll let it continue for now. Alright. Well, eventually we're going to run out of... Uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. We're in trouble. We're in a bit of trouble. We're in trouble now, boys. Oh, Shiza. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Uh, hopefully this will speed up our population growth. Hopefully enough that it will become less of a problem. Oh, no. Oh, feck. Oh, feck. Ah, cat. Ah, shit. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, we are Science now Division reports a new breakthrough. No. Okay. 
exploring the mediation of fundamental forces through subatomic particles. Cool. Uh, field modulation! Oh, thank you, merciful Jesus! Okay. Modulated fields allow for increased production and improved energy yield. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and the one we're looking at, mapping the genome of an individual through the sequencing of their DNA opens up for tailored medical treatments and therapies. And the one for coil guns, I already looked at. I already read. Okay, cool. And what about... System reconnaissance yeah, completed. Read. Okay, cool. cool. All right, all right. All right, okay. I'm just making sure. I'm making sure that I've mm -hmm. looked at the stuff we already have. That's all. Oh, boy. Construction complete. Nice. And we will send our fleet over here. Oh, boy. We're already in negative four. Alright. Um, let's prioritize technicians. The amoeba juvenile that joined our fleet some time ago appears to have reached full maturity. Now an impressive adult, she is no less loyal to the ships that gave her a new home when she was stranded on Asmore B2. Her time spent with the fleet appears to have encouraged adaptive behavior behaviors not typically found in wild space amoebas, making her a more formidable presence on the battlefield than others of her kind. Across Empire of Felinday, rather, Felinay, her image has become something of a mascot for the feline spirit. I cannot talk at all. <laughs> Only one question remains. What should we name her? Bubbles? Nyx? Renegade? Yuka? Saito? These are all terrible. <laughs> you can absolutely tell the game <laughs> devs, fuck yourselves. These names are fucking terrible. <laughs> All right. Well, I will, for now, end the episode, and I'll come up with a name on my own in the meantime. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and apparently going to name a fully-fledged amoeba uh, <laughs> that we've uh, kind of brought into our fleet. Uh, kind of accidentally. But uh, hey, now we have one of them on our side and uh, we're just going to continue expanding our empire in the process while also having a pretty decently sized fleet and a random amoeba. <laughs> Trust me, I, I'm, I'm as flabbergasted as you guys are. <laughs> For you.